Hello there, welcome once again to Living on Purpose. My name is Fola Daniel Adelesi, and today I want to tell you, don't think you know it all. Don't think you know it all. Whoever thinks that he knows it all is definitely arrogant, ignorant, and stupid at the same time. Arrogant, ignorant, and stupid at the same time. Those are the only people who can believe that they know it all. You should never act like you know it all. You should learn from other people. You should listen to them. There will always be somebody who knows more than you do. There will always be somebody who has been to places that you've never been to. One of the things I remember from time to time is the story of a couple that we invited to be part of a panel session in an event where I was coordinating with somebody. We realized that we just wanted people from the audience to come off stage and we were picking people randomly. And we didn't know that we had somebody who was a professor and the wife was also in the audience who is a PhD holder. We just picked them randomly and when we asked for the name, that's when we found out that the wife is a doctor and a PhD holder and then the husband is a professor. But they looked quiet, they sat quietly in the audience and they said nothing until we approached them and appealed to them to be part of a panel session. But if there were people who were actually always trying to say something or who didn't think that they need to learn from other people, then you would realize that they don't know much. There are people who know more than you do. And they may sit, just like the prof and the doctor, they may sit quietly in the congregation, they may sit quietly in your audience, and they'll just be watching everything that you are doing. Don't be arrogant, don't be proud, don't act ignorant. In fact, if you don't know, Keep quiet. If you don't know and you quietly learn from other people, everybody will assume you are wise until you open your mouth to display your ignorance. So it's very important to never assume that you know it all and learn from other people. I'm constantly learning by the things that I'm reading. I'm constantly learning by the videos that I watch. I'm constantly learning even from some books that I'm able to read. It's important to watch other people, learn from them. When I get some emails, I look at how some of those emails are structured. Even, they are, even if they are emails for promotions of materials, promotions of services and businesses, I read sometimes just to pick one thing from what those people are doing. When I'm on LinkedIn, I'm reading sometimes just to learn one thing I pick things from different places and different people there are places where people think that I should be the one talking and stuff like that but I just sit quietly at the back I've been to one meeting like that a year a few years ago and I remember that when I walked in I walked in quietly because most of the people didn't know me and when they eventually found out who I was and gave me the opportunity to talk they were shocked at what they heard because I came in quietly and the person said oh you are so unassuming nobody would even imagine that you are this person why because there's no point for me to prove that I know something and I don't know it all I only know something in a particular field that I'm willing to share with people all the time. I'm only trying to motivate people, to encourage people to become productive, to become better. That doesn't mean that I know it all at all. And you should never act like you know it all. I remember listening to somebody who is a PhD holder in mathematics and he was saying that nobody knows it all and even the person who says is that is, is a PhD holder in mathematics by the time you start asking questions you ask questions like in what field or in what part of mathematics in what subject and then you can keep going on and on and on and you realize at the end of the day that what that person knows despite having a PhD in mathematics is so infinitesimal compared to how broad mathematics really is so you don't know it all be willing to learn from the old and the young be willing to learn from the people around you. Be willing to learn from the people in the village, from the people in the city. Be willing to learn from the people in your country and from the people outside of your country. Be willing to learn from people regardless of their colors because it's not colors that determine intelligence. It's not race. It's not location that determines intelligence. Sometimes the natural intelligence that some people have is amazing. It will blow your mind. So don't ever think that you know it all. Don't ever act like like you know it all there will always be somebody else who knows something more than you do it doesn't matter how many years you spent working on something somebody else may have found a new insight that can make that work better listen to them 
learn from them. That's why there are researchers who are constantly doing something or constantly trying to create new knowledge on a daily basis. So you never know it all and you cannot know it all. There are people who are helping you. There are people you can learn from and be humble, be willing to learn from them because you do not know it all. So how are you proving to people that you are ready to learn? How are you proving to people that you're open to learning? It's not just saying I'm ready to learn, but demonstrating that you're open to learning because you don't know it all. Sometimes you may want to say something, believing that you know so much, but God will help you. They will give somebody else the opportunity to speak before you. By the time you hear what that person has to say, you will just be humble and you would even be thanking God and say, wow, thank heavens that I was not the first person to speak. Because if I had spoken before this person, I would have just said rubbish. Imagine everything that this person said. So humble yourself and be a continuous learner because you certainly do not know it all. Make it a habit to be a learner. Thank you very much for your time out. Please go on to www.faladanielspeaks.com and also check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Speaks. Thank you.